Tinatato Kato, good evening. Our frontline medical staff are being kicked, punched, spat on, having urine thrown at them, and are even receiving death threats. Physical, sexual, and verbal abuse has increased in our emergency departments. One of the leading doctors says it's reached crisis levels. Juliet Speedy reports. The ED, the front line of urgent and acute health care in New Zealand, where lives are saved on a daily basis. But instead of thanking the nurses and doctors, this is what some patients do instead. Kicking, punching, slapping, pushing, um, and patients spitting. And that's certainly not the worst of it, an abuse that can be verbal, physical and sexual. A study out today has confirmed what staff have long known is a large and growing problem. I think it's a crisis for the health system. If you talk to the staff member who's just been uh, threatened um, and her fam and the patient's threatened to kill their family, uh, that person would say that this is a crisis. Friday and Saturday nights are often the worst with alcohol and drugs and mental health issues all a factor, but not the only factor. The patients can just be bad people who are acting in a very entitled way, in a very unreasonable way. The study looked at violent and aggressive incidents during the month of May over a six-year period and found the numbers are not only high, but far higher than the official reporting through the CDHB. We've spoken to one emergency department nurse who says things have got progressively worse here over the last few years. She's felt unsafe on numerous occasions, including having a bottle of urine thrown at her. She says reporting these incidents is difficult and takes time that they don't have. We need a better reporting system that's easier for staff to use so we can get more detailed and more granular knowledge around this problem. There is also insufficient training for the staff to deal with it. Older staff have had to learn organically. And that's fine for someone like me who's been in the ED for 20 years, but for junior doctors and nurses and allied health staff and things, uh, that, that's, that can be a problem and is often really distressing. Dr Gilbert says the study may have been done in Canterbury, but this is a widespread issue for all under-resourced and underfunded EDs around the country. These issues are ubiquitous in all EDs in New Zealand. This is not a CDHB problem. This is a New Zealand-wide emergency department concern. And something the soon-to-be-formed Health New Zealand will need to take a good hard look at. Kia ora, Juliet. Well, there's clearly a big problem here. What can be done about this? Well, as you just heard, Sam, EDs around the country are under-resourced and quite simply, they need more staff, doctors and nurses, and a lot of them, because one of the big issues here is the long and growing wait times for patients. The ED nurse we spoke with today said patients can commonly be waiting as long as six hours to see a doctor. And the pandemic's made this worse because people haven't been able to bring a support person in, so they've been sitting in a wait room for hours on end, anxious about their health, and they take that out on staff. Now, obviously, staff alone is not the only issue here or the only fix for what is a complex problem but the staff we've spoken with today are thrilled that the results of the survey has thrust this issue into the spotlight in the hope that more action will be taken. Juliet, thank you.